Well, stuff on the lens. I made it to Louisiana, but I am currently stuck in the rental car. So I took a wrong turn, was not supposed to turn down this road, didn't know it. GPS is so dumb. This is not the first time the GPS has gotten us stuck. And uh, Austin's coming to rescue me and pull me out. That's about it though. sit and uh, it's super windy right now there's a storm that's coming in I don't know how long we're gonna be in the stand because it's supposed to be pretty severe thunderstorm so um, we kicked a few does coming in off the spot so hopefully those does come back we'll shoot one and uh, head out of here <laughs> before the rain comes that's our game plan but I don't know the rain might take longer to get here I don't know so we're gonna stick it out Austin ended up 
up shooting a really good buck the night before I got here. Um, I forgot to say that. And then his dad shot a stud of a buck on film, too. I dropped it at like 2 point, 200 yards. Yeah, but really, really big eight point. So they're starting to move. The rut is like just starting to get here. Like next week is epic here. Um, so see what happens today. This rain's going to come through, but this afternoon it's going to be really good, and tomorrow is going to be our best day of this trip. So, we'll see what happens. stud. Yes, it is. I can't tell really well where his body. There's a little bit of mass on the back end. And if he was young, if he was three, he would probably be chasing. The doe's just ran off because he's walking. He might be like five inches bigger than he did. Pushing all the other deer off makes me think he's a little bit older too. It's December 28th, our third day in Louisiana. This morning we have really high hopes. It rained all day yesterday pretty much and last night. And we're sitting in the spot where I shot my stud last year. And the water is so high that both of us went up past our boots getting to the stand because the bayou is so flooded. But it's a north wind today. It's a little bit colder. It really should get the deer moving. Yesterday, a lot of the guys saw bucks chasing does. So they should be nudging them around and get the bucks on their feet. So see what happens. It should be a pretty fun morning though.
saw quite a few deer coming in. It's gonna be an epic hunt. So we're gonna get nestled up in here right away. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Last afternoon we have tomorrow morning. So we'll see what happens. Louisiana and wrap to the entire hunting season. Austin and I was talking, we're both done now, and we won't be back in the stand until hopefully September. Um, but this past couple days, the weather has just been so iffy, and the deer haven't been moving, so it is what it is, and it still has been an awesome time. And thanks to Austin everyone at Long Fork and uh, such an awesome time here but hope you guys enjoyed B season season three this will be the last video of the series so appreciate you guys watching catch you guys next year <laughs>